Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So today we're going to continue playing as the Enclave, our tiny, tiny little nation of the Enclave, and hopefully reform the United States of America someday. So, a um, couple comments, people think this, this would be a good playthrough, and that perhaps next time I might do the Washington Brotherhood, or perhaps even a nation on the East Coast, perhaps the Capital Brotherhood, which does have a small but special focus tree. Very cool, very, very cool. Or even the Minutemen over here with Sanctuary under good old Preston Garvey. Oh my goodness, we have another settlement that needs your help. But, thank God, I'm creating my own settlement right now. Cool. Um, yeah, let's continue on. And I guess for the beginning stages of this campaign, my goal is, through my focuses, finish off... Purge the opposition, and of course, assassinate Dr. Anderson, but I want to get down here as fast as possible. Californian Civil War, so that I can get the Old World Uprisings, so that I can spend a lot of political power, make these areas of the NCR rebel, and then fight the, fight the NCR and take them over. I'm going to attempt to not use anybody in as assistance against the NCR, but we'll see what happens. We will definitely see what happens. But in order to do all that stuff, actually, we definitely need to do reroute Crimson Caravans. Ooh, scrap. Fighters, very nice. Very, very nice. Dive Bombers, no. I keep messing that up. We do not need Dive Bombers as the Enclave. We have Vertebirds. Very, very beautiful, special, incredibly seductive Vertebirds. But, um, yeah. Let's see, right now, but what we need to do to purge, to really purge the opposition and, and let that focus tree keep going is to make sure that we have 50% intellectual support. So that's going to take quite a while. And it looks like Klamath, for some reason, is really getting destroyed by the Kemult Station. I've never seen that happen. Usually Klamath survives in all of my playthroughs, but... Okay, and then Cuba is in another civil war. Oh, uh, I think they're going to win this one, probably. Oh, poor old Havana. But that's cool. So yeah, not bad, not bad. Uh, political power, 0.76 a day, not great, but that's why I'm doing anti-communist propaganda. And I did ask last time whether... Ooh, the Quebec Warriors declared one Lac Bushnet, alright? Whether I should go segregation or not, and I had the reply saying, you should go with no segregation because you, I want to screw everyone over equally. So, I can't argue with that logic, really. Sounds like very good logic to me, so... You should never discriminate too much, just discriminate equally. So yeah, uh, someone did comment that they think that I live in Michigan. Not quite, not quite. Close, but not quite. I've been up to Michigan two, th two three times, I'd say. Um, it's generally a nice place. You know, not bad. Not great, but you know, it's Michigan. It's Apparently, I think that's where Mitten Squad still lives? I don't know him, that, I don't know him at all, I just follow his channel a little bit, so... I know he, at least for a time, has lived in Michigan. Anyways, cause of the Great War, as most Americans know, this world wasn't always a grim, dark land, inhabited by raiders and death claws. Yummy. As we, we reunite the nation, we're going to reroute the Crimson Caravans. Um, many are still wondering who caused the Great War. The president could blame the Chinese to build up support, but the most intelligent Americans recognize we made mistakes, too. When asked, the president said, Never forgive the Chinese. Why did I say it like that? I don't know. Never repeat the mistakes of the past. Well, I don't give a crap about legitimacy. So, I want more war support, so... Yeah, I really don't care about legitimacy, really, at all. Yeah, it hurts our political power gain, non-core manpower, mobilization speed, but... In the end, it won't matter. Cool. Oh, one of the Red Menace. We get more war support, but we lose some stability. Ooh, I love that. Ah, uh, the Red Menace, because the Chinese are definitely going to invade us any day now. Oh, we got a lot of political power. Do we need that right now? No, but we could save that. Currently, we have... 46%-ish popular support. I could arrange disappearances in exchange for oligarchies to go down in popularity. Hold small speech. Well, I promise this. I could do stuff like this. Hmm. Daily intellectual support. I think I'm going to do this. I forget which one we should do first. Technocracy support first. I think we're going to go with change in popularity of oligarchy support. Because these are percentages, this actually has an important order when you do this. So you probably want to lower the influence of the oligarchy and then increase your own influence and therefore you get quite a bit closer to doing this. Let's do this. Oh, before we do that though, just double check. Oh, we can go under partial mobilization. That's really good to do as well. Uh, but I want to do these focuses as fast as possible. That's really my goal. So, we'll do that. So now we're at 47%. We increase it by 3 more percent. We get up to 50%. And now we can consolidate power, get 10% more stability, and we have 
just barely enough popularity support to do that. And if I were to be bold, very, very bold, I could also get, do partial mobilization, which we'll do. And now we're p politically powerly bankrupt, which was maybe a bad idea because I need to do both these two. Yeah, that was a bad idea to going with war economy or um, partial mobilization, I should say. But using our 666 manpower, I think we'll be okay. Ooh, look at Klamath is actually coming back. Made a little bit of encirclement. Ooh, baby, that's not good for you guys. All right, um, not bad. We have 50 more days for that to go on. We're consol consolidating power, get more stability, to get more political power, to get fewer consumer goods being used as we are slowly, slowly trying to make guns and equipment and stuff like that. Go ahead and do that. Cool. Yeah, we definitely need more guns so I can send stuff to Raider Nations against the NCR, if possible. Uh, gotta love my coffee. Cool. Tensions have been high since the elections. It appears support for the peers have only intensified as a result, especially in the upper echelons of our government. To address this situation, we have collected all those with grievances towards the new, the new U.S. government into one room, awaiting answers from the new president. Technocracy. Someone hand me a plasma grenade. Ooh, remove both things. Replace political infighting with a civil war. Um, Even though I chose somebody to hand me my speech last time, I think I'm going to do it again just because it's a little bit easier. And I don't want to have a very difficult session. I know some of you guys want to see me struggle, which I say you guys are kind of cruel for those of you who want me to do that. But for this, I just want to get to the point where we can be a dictatorship as fast as possible. So I'm going to go with hand me, someone hand me my speech. And we get more political power, which actually is very, very necessary. So we can't do this yet, but... We're definitely on the right way there. So we can't do the American Dream because we need to purge the opposition. We can do Old World Radio for a little bit more political power. And then I will do um, the Enclave uh, Police Force or something like that. Cool. But yeah, more daily political power. Always, always, always a good thing to do. Retool Machinery is also very good. Or whole Military Theory Committee. Deal with the Red Menace. Yeah, just political power in the early game is just so important, like I said before. It's just ridiculously important. And the Pharaohs declared one Iris over here. Oh, we can do we can demote Pierce officers. And I want to do that. But I I'm gonna wait first to see what happens with this. Just because we can't even if we did demote Pierce officers or scientists right now, it wouldn't do anything since we still have a focus that we're trying to finish first. So no worries. But yeah, I have very, very little experience with the East Coast mod. I know, I believe that the the originator of the mod has basically just stopped working on it. And that's why I had to go back down to patch 1.7 from patch 1.7.1, .1, which is fine. No problems. There's not a huge difference between these two patches. But I, I hope that... Mm, we don't need this. I really do hope that someone else can take on the range of the East Coast mod because this looks awesome. Really, really, really awesome. And promotions. Recently, commander position has opened up. Two available candidates for promotion. An older, experienced Navarro veteran and a younger, outspoken reformer. I love the army XP. I could use that research slot for, with one of those focuses that requires 100 army XP, but I pr promote lo the loyal man. I love Thomas Rimmy Rim. I doubt if he has any connection to Rimmy Down Under, but whatever. Cool. Very awesome. Ah, oh, I love the old world of radio. Radio. New world hopes. Or consumer goods. I would say consumer goods in the long run are better. But I really want more political power. But I could crack the code. But. I could do that stuff. Or I could do Enclave. To get even more daily political power. Um, Stability goes up by 5%. Can we see yet for the decisions? No, we cannot, which really kind of sucks. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and demote uh, officers because that hurts our attack and organization for 200 days. Let's do that. But we'll go back and do um, New World Hopes, Old World Blues. Well, we're looking forward to the New World, so let's do this one. Daily political power, and we get 100 political power, which makes up for the demote purist scientist thingamabob. And now we get 0.91 political power a day. Awesome. How is this war going? You guys have been killing each other for a while. Kaiser's Legion declared war on two sons. Acre, leader of the Kemalt Station. A lot of manpower. Three divisions. That's not good. Klamath has five to six, but quite a bit less manpower. Hmm. Justify war goals times. Research speed. Vault City declared war on Cyclops tribes. Monthly population. All right. And Kemalt Station has raiders, old world criminals, roadhogs, mean bastards, doped soldiers. 
I guess if you take drugs, you could become faster. Uh, daily ruler support and attrition. So nothing really for like defense on core territory. Oh, I think Kamultation is dead. Cause uh, look at that. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna do go ahead and do this as well. I'm gonna separate the infantry from those guys. Give me Remy here. Thank you. He is a artillery attackist. In this mod, what is artillery? Is that the the um dynamite? Is that is dynamite in this mod considered? soft or artillery in this playthrough just because it helps you quite a bit with more soft attack it does have some more defense it is explosive support i don't think it's automatic laser rifles so nuke oh nuclear patriots nuclear declare war new new georgia awesome um new california republic enclave propaganda that's nice but we don't really need to do that right now we could stage raider attacks but we don't really have the guns to send anything to anybody. Um, decisions. 105 political power. We basically have to do that. Um, yeah, I'm going to spend it now because in the future you have three attempts to hide yourself from the NCR. And I'm going to use those for the highest costing political power. I'll use those when we are going to just begin attacking more and more of uh, or trying to make uprisings happen in the NCR, so I'll save those for them. When the cost is just too high to bear, I'm just going to do it then. Anderson holds the speech. Let me have some coffee first. Despite his near defeat in the recent elections, Franklin Anderson has been working tirelessly to rouse his supporters against the new administration. Though he carefully chooses his words to avoid anything openly treasonous, most believe the only real solution or real reason he's alive and allowed to speak is that his numerous supporters may be driven to open revolt otherwise. Oligarchy and loose political power. I don't mind oligarchy a little bit. Because that's where we're going to go in the end. But we already have 59% support after they even became more oligarchic. So that's totally fine with me. Also, we are joined here by my cat named Binky. He is currently lying underneath my keyboard. And sleeping on a plastic bag with stuff in it. So he finds it very, very enjoyable. Uh, Brotherhood of Steel Outcast declared war on the slave traders of Paradise Falls. Let's see. Oh, hello there. Hmm. Hello, Undertaker Jones, preparing for total war. And then, oh, the Brotherhood here, the Outcasts, don't really have a lot of manpower, obviously. I mean, that's Brotherhood, what do you expect? But still, we remove treasonous officers, or treacherous officers, and let's go ahead and do Enclave Police. Ooh, more war support sounds nice. Break the tribes. I, don't, I can't really do this, because I have to go to war with the NCR first, I think. Or at least that's how I want to play this time. Let's do Enclave Police because it hurts our recruitable population, but we get more political power and we get more stability. Nice. And actually, I'm probably going to end up doing Alt with the Old just for more for more political power. Legitimacy is nice and all, but with corrupt New Reno Police, we lose legitimacy, which I don't care about. But we lose daily political power, we get more population, and we lose stability. I really don't want to lose more political power because it's so, so needed in the early game. Awesome. Let's go ahead and do Demote Pierce Scientists next. Awesome. Really good. Even though I would love to make more power armor, but that takes forever to do. We only make two a month, which is terrible. Ta 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 terrible. But yeah, Capital Enclave. Ooh, she looks pretty good for 500. America's 500th birthday is approaching, and some would say she's showing her age. The land is scoured by mutants and raiders, and the Enclave, America's last great hope, is a shadow of its former self. But to grant it, this is just a cause to redouble its efforts. Americans, he declares on the radio, will have never bowed to a despot and never will. Ooh. Things may look bleak now, but America will survive for the next 500 years, and will be on that because we'll fight for a better world, or America will always fight for freedom. Well, I don't really care about this too much. Resulting legitimacy strength. Minus... 40 percent yeah yeah we'll always fight for a better world you know americans always fight for freedom when it benefits us cool uh monthly population thank you very much and we have concentration of false and then we'll get more max speed and but a little bit more training time come on station um i will want to make you guys aware that even though we need more um power armor i only have 10 combat with right now which isn't great when we fight the NCR, I'm going to need to heavily rely on those militia units that we're going to get. So, oh, and there goes Climate. They actually won. For a while there, I thought that the Kemalt Station would actually win. It looks like Vault City is winning their war against the Cyclops tribes, too. Hmm. 
Water's pretty good. All right. Vault City. It's a utopia city of under first citizen of the net. Nice. Enclave police. New Reno. Hey, look, there's my thumbnail. I love it. It's safer than you'd expect for a city with no police force, but that's because order is maintained by a gentleman's agreement between the families. <clears throat> we could incorporate many of their mobsters into our new police force, or we could start from scratch with police trained by Sergeant Dornan. I don't want to do this because we lose all that stuff. We get a little bit more manpower back, but that's okay for now. I'd rather... Ooh. Ooh, I lose 10% stability. I didn't read that in the patch notes. Hmm... Honestly, we lose 5%. We get 5% more recruitable population. We currently have 82%, but with the use of industry and stuff, we'll definitely make that up. But I'm going to go with this. Even though I don't really care for legitimacy, we lose stability, but we get more play political power, which I basically really, 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 really need. So, And then we'll lose even more stability. A Benjamin Curling is executed on false charges. Well, some people just have to leave. Awesome. And we could go with more loyal reformer, but I don't want to lose attack. That's pretty bad. Uh, fleet coordination is actually that's actually pretty good to do Dan Daniel Shepard. Actually, and maybe instead of Boris here, I should have maybe gone for Daniel Shepard because he still gives you the same amount of daily intellectual support and he gives you more political power. And maybe he would have been a better choice, actually. Or loyal reformer here, close air support, close air support attack goes down. Same thing with him. Hmm. Even though I would probably choose these guys over him, but whatever. Um, but a dum bum bum. Fight, fight breaks out. A heated argument turned violent in the general staff cafeteria today. Unsurprisingly, the topic of the argument was recent elections. Though many claim that he was provoked, none deny that the person supporting the reformer caused through the first punch. This normally insignificant issue has gathered a lot of attention, and we've been asked to intervene. An ungrateful position to be in, since defending the aggressor would reflect more badly on us, but condemning him would come across as a stab in the back to the most zealous reformers. Um, I don't want to lose too much, so I don't mind losing technocracy for political power because. We're already 69% nice percent of the uh, popular ideology. Now, I definitely want Dornan for more stability. And actually, we might really need him because of this. Uh, I don't think I would have enough political power, though, to ensure that we could pay off the NCR. So, I'm going to go ahead and actually just get Dornan. I think that'd probably be okay for more stability and less training time. Training time is going to be huge for us. So... All right, not bad. And the Cyclops tribe was puppeted. Interesting. Very interesting. Motorized. Don't even use those. 1.12 political power a day. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Reinforce rate. Eh, better get a better reinforce rate. Nice. So we still have 30 days for this. That's good. 70 days. 135 days for this. Not bad. 65% stability. Pretty good. And we just purchased scientists. And now we have 63% stability. We got to assassinate Dr. Anderson. Lose... Popularity support of the oligarchy lose some stability, but then we eventually will purge the opposition Which will there Thusly destroy any opposition and we can be free and democratic and authoritarian as much as we want to be cool so yeah, But I like oh enclave. There's another enclave the enclave New York enclave branch, huh? Who are you Colonel John Neiman? Man, when I go to war with these guys, it's not going to be good. Because it's, it's almost going to be like an enclave civil war or something like that, you know? It's going to be brutal. Um, they have a kind of a generic focus tree as well, I guess. But kind of? Yeah, it's kind of a generic focus tree, so. Alright. Baseball. The president dis dis decided to revive a pre-war game. Let's see, someone's fighting each other. To boost patriotism and has gone on the radio with the newest speech. We've been thinking quite a bit lately about something we can all relate to. Something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I'm referring, of course, to our great national pastime of baseball. Now ask yourself this. What if Nevada's gamblers could live again? What if they could compete with baseball teams from California or Oregon? Put your faith in the enclave of Great America and baseball will live again. Comfort, recreation, healthy competition. All will live again. This country will live again. Play ball. Back to work. Even though I would say I think this is a really great idea, I don't want to lose war support. I really, really don't. And I don't care about legitimacy in this playthrough anyways. So... Back to work. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, and actually, this is done. And now it costs us... Okay, 115. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and do that immediately, just so that I'm not tempted to click on something else. And that we don't have to worry about that for a while. So we got... Ooh, the assassination of Dr. Franklin Anderson. Let's go ahead and get the next focus started before I read that. Purge the opposition. 
The good doctor has been a thorn in our side ever since his loss in the election. His connections and wits have kept him alive until now, but we have politically outmaneuvered him at last. Despite quickly running out of allies, Anderson has stayed put in the Syria Army Depot, stubbornly fulfilling his uh, his administrative duties. It was in his office that our operatives found him unprepared for the confrontation. Perhaps he had resigned himself to his fate. Perhaps he was too single-minded to see how dire his situation had, be had become. All the same, Franklin Anderson was buried in an unmarked grave in Golgotha. If anyone noticed his disappearance, they were wise enough not to notice it out loud. We made sure of that. Defiant until the end. Uh, oh, let's do whole military theory committee. That's good to do as well. Awesome. We're doing great work here, friends. And now we're purging the opposition. Great. We lose somebody. We get rid of political infighting, which will give us plus 0.2 political power a day, 25% more organization, 25% more division recovery rate, and 20%. 20 freaking percent stability. Love it. Oh, let's go and get organized Hato farming. Very nice. Ready me? Oh, and he has his face buried in the ground. Ah, what a beautiful, huge animal. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Ten more days for this. That's good. Demote Pierce Scientist. Very nice. What is the NCR up to? Are they still fighting the Scorpions? Strengthening New City. A lot of manpower. Scavenger Jackpot. Uh, Scavenger has returned to New Reno with reports of an intact military base we thought lost with an energy weapon stockpile. Traditionally, scavengers have the right to property they find, but we could use our new police force to seize the fines. On the other hand, if we respect this claim, it will cement our claim to stand for order and the rule of law. Common energy weaponry. I could use... Laws apply to the government and the people alike. I get legitimacy, and I get political power. Oh, I need more guns. But I like the political power. Hmm. Because if I get more political power, I can do this, which really wouldn't matter very much. I could increase stability and war support with this stuff. I could increase more of this stuff as well. Actually, that'll be important to do this for power armor equipment, but then that as well. Tank company. Um. Oh, we have actually a, quite a bit more here. Infantry equipment costs. I want more political power. I think just give me more political power right now. I think that would pay off in, in the long run as long as I can get more political power because you only get 200 pieces of machinery of you know guns, and that's nice and all, but I would rather have more political power so I can actually produce more under material designer so I think this would be this would pay off probably in the long run a little bit more cool and besides I need to conserve political power as much as possible but 1.09 political power a day is beautiful the Genta de Sol declared war on the cowboy countries ooh two sons is not having a good time but they are expanding a little bit into Kaiser's legion very interesting edge the opposition very nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Finally, now we can stop thinking about the opposition because they're all dead and begin to have an American dream. More war support, more oh, 200 political power. Awesome. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. It takes 40 days to do this. Not bad. Um, I could get more legitimacy. And that would slightly help us with getting more political power political power. But I would definitely prefer to getting material designer. Enclave scientists in the north, to the extent the uh, members of the Enclave disliked her plan to be nice to the mutants who killed their parents, but did not want to become genocidal purists. Most fled to Kaiser's Legion, which could offer them great wealth and power, but the Washington Brotherhood has power and wealth as well, and for those who will tolerate its insane ruler. One of our scientists uh, defected with a weapon of great use against super mutants, which could cripple the troll Warren. We're torn between annoyance at the fact he stole our other super weapon, and pleasure that rabid super mutants will likely die en masse, and see no way this will come back to hurt us. Ooh, oh my goodness, how many more readings? Oh, so many readings. Although we took power of the promise to not purge our political enemies, we, like most politicians, we've fallen short of our promises. Sorry, guys, not really. While some purists have fled east of Chicago or even Raven Rock, some enclave loyalists who like Wastelander Americans personally but doubt our cause have sold their services to the Legion. The bastards took some suits of power armor, plasma guns, and our last supply of FEV on the way out. Apparently, Kaiser intends to use them to bring the torch of knowledge to the Waste in a rather literal fashion. Ooh, the anti-integration faction. The peers are no more, but that does not mean every member of the Reformer faction is an unconditional lover of Wastelanders. Many hold the opinion that, while they are certainly no peers, the Wastelanders should be kept at a safe length at arms from the pure stock of humans of the Enclave. For them, there can be no integration, only the ruling of their one class by genetic betters. Many ex-peers and Reformer moderates have gone over to this new faction in our government. How should we approach this new divide? 
And the elites want to be, now be called the Anti-Integration Party. Hmm. Two four, steps forward, one step back. I definitely don't want to lose stability, so... We're going to get more stability and get more... A lot more oligarchy, I guess. And let's go ahead and get Plasma. I want Tesla. Because I like the cars, I guess. I don't know. Cool. 1.38 political power a day. Very nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Going to make more infantry guns all the time. Just really good. Really, really good. Demote sci pure scientist. Very good. Oh, that does hurt our research speed. I wondered why this was taking so long. And the slave traders of Paradise Falls have fallen to the Brotherhood of Steel Outcasts. Which is down here. Hello there. Generic boss supporting vessels. And the Washington Brotherhood declared war on the Troll War. Ooh. So this is Brotherhood of Steel Outcast Focus. It's interesting. And we have the American Dream. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Actually, we could do first brick. That might help as well. I definitely need more military factories, so. But, like all things, we need to do Operation Babylon, probably. But, eh, nah, screw it. Let's go ahead and do the first brick for more civilian workshops. That sounds kind of nice. It's going to save some of my political power for this. But if I were to... Sp oh! Enclave cures incurable disease. Everyone knows about the disease for a long time, turning people into zombies like wild ghouls, but no one yet has heard about the fact that this disease is now officially curable. Yes, dear readers, you didn't think that this was true, but wait, I'll tell you more surprising news. People who have developed a vaccine for this disease are... Tum tum da da dum drum roll, Enclave. But you never have guessed Enclave. Organization is not just showing hostility to almost all living things, but then such a present for humanity, while every second may be surprised. So the Enclave actually came up with something. Interesting. And there's quite a few more wars going on. Ooh. Hmm. War Industrialist. Captain, Captain of Industry. Alright. Alright. Monthly population. More stability. Sycophant. Smoke signals, nice. Get more research speed. I want all that research speed, man. Give me all that research speed. Uh, let's see. Experience gain. Army XP gain. Actually, it's pretty good. Industrial concerns. Well, I mean, there's electronics. Power station construction speed as well as civilian power construction speed. Tank designer. I want to do power armor for more hardness, armor, and breakthrough. But I really need more power armor equipment. So I'm not going to do that. I, I definitely want this. I'll save that for later. Um, hidden economy, can't get out of that. Does organized remnants actually might be good for me to go down here, but I need more legitimacy to actually do fools and dreamers. So. Um, aircraft. Production cost of gunships. I'm not even making gunships. I don't have the industry for it. So. Let's kind of wait for this. Not much else is really going on. I want to start a scavenging program. I would like maybe just a little bit more stability. I don't want to spend that much political power. I'm really just saving this for uprisings. Ooh. These guys are at war now. But save it for the uprisings that we'll do against NCR. Yeah. That's who we're going to go war with. Wait, wait. The first brick, Mingo Creek declared war on the Wild Swamp People, and then the Alliance declared war on the Buffalo Raiders. Simon King, Mingo Creek, Swamp People, New Georgia, the Nuclear Patriots. Ooh, baby. Interesting. Alright, so we could go civilian, but I really need arms workshops. But let's go ahead and do Operation Babylon for 100 more political power. As we are continuing to pay off, basically pay off, the NCR. The more time we have until we go to war with the NCR, probably the better for us. Just because it's a little difficult to fight the NCR, especially if they have so many people. And quite a few divisions, and I only have nine. So, go figure. 80s declared war on Ruby Valley Refuges. Refugees. Oh, 125 is pretty easy. That's not bad at all, actually. Keep doing that. Operation Babylon. Uh, production costs. I know, I know. I want more production costs. But 10%, while it's great, it isn't a huge amount. 10% of 0.1 a day isn't very much. Operation Babylon. Nice. The common man, the forgotten men and women of the Commonwealth. Oh, just give me more of that political power. Hmm. Chief of Army, Defense, Attack, Division, Attack, plus 15%. That's pretty nice. Oh, man. NCR declared war on the Mojave Raiders. Interesting. Ooh, they're really pushing hard in there. And we've got another Infantry Division. So, yeah. Just saving up all this political power. I think that's probably for the best. Hmm. Nice. We just need more guns. The Common Man. Very nice. 
So what's going on in the world? The Washington Brotherhood is actually getting pretty large. They beat up the Troll War, and they're going to war with the Troll... They beat up Port Ma, and now they're at war with the Troll War. And Klamath took out the Kimmelt Station, which is now under the Troll War. Um, for flexibility of command, I don't like to do the right side anymore. Just because you might get more reinforcement and recovery rate, I don't want to lose recruitable population too much. And this benefits everyone on the left side, so... Oh, we do lose recruitable, po recruitable population factor anyways, but whatever. Whatever. You didn't see that. Yeah, you, you heard nothing. You know. I definitely want Vault City, but... I'm gonna try it this way. This path, this way. Come on, common man. Only seven more days. How's the East Coast looking? The Desert Rangers, actually, are struggling quite a bit over here. They're out of manpower, which isn't good, so that they should do what I did and just kind of say, Hey, man, you're a rock star. Stop attacking. Yeah, don't play. I'm sorry for that. Okay, cool. Common man, the forgotten men and women of the... Wastes. Nice, this will definitely help. Although NCR is a democracy, it's highly flawed. Brahmin barons run the northern territories, like feudal holdings, crushing small farmers and factory workers. Uh, the caravans buy and sell senators for bottle caps. Um... Sure. And ethnic tensions simmer beneath the surface. A leader who promised to restore pre-war America's ideals and rally the forgotten people of New California could be very successful with our aid. Oh my gosh! Alright, at this point... That's a crap ton of political power that I'm just going to go ahead and just click on. I'm going to go with that for now. I know, 1.1, it does almost nothing, but it does just slightly, slightly help. And with that in mind, with this, that means in the future, I too can... Oh wait, I thought I clicked on that. Okay, I can't click on this. Um... Is this glitched, maybe? Well, maybe that's glitched. I was going to say, I, I, I feel bad for doing this, but not really. But all right, whatever. Mm, I think EPA director would be good, but I really need more civilian factories, so I can't use him yet. Less political power for more stability. Well, I'd rather spend my political power on stability and stuff like that. Retool machinery? Nah, that's not good enough. Could get more stability. Mm, yeah, I guess we'll do it for like... What was that, like 15% more stability, maybe? Shoshone Nations declared war on the Murtaz. The Whoa! Whoa, USSR declared war on the Republic of Victoria. Whoa, the commies are back. What? What? The Manitoulin Island Soviet Refuge. Who are you? Mikhail Alexandrovich. Anti-alcohol? And they hate paratism? Depot to cover an NCR territory. Our spies have uncovered a large map leading to an abandoned pre-war military depot. It holds a large amount of older power armor suits in working condition. However, this depot is in an NCR territory, meaning our efforts may not go unnoticed by the bear. 400 things of power armor. Oh, give me that. Give me it. I'm going to suck on the... Give me that power armor. Cool. With this, we'll lose a thousand infantry equipment, which is fine. We can arm patriots. We get some more political power, and... The answer becomes more popular with technocracy, and we've got so much political power that I need to save, use, spend on, you know, drugs and hookers and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, that's going to end up here for us today. We're just getting up, gearing up for a massive war as we will slowly, slowly begin to incite uprisings across the country. So with that in mind, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, hope you enjoyed just seeing like the USSR pop-up and other little wars popping up on the East Coast. Leave a like if you liked it, if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we could potentially end up in a war with the NCR tomorrow. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.